Oh, okay. As you know, we are here in Stratford and we are calling people to Islam, yeah. to the worship of Allah alone and to accept Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa as the last messenger. Yeah. So, that's what my time is for. If you have, we can have some kind of conversation. If I think it's taking too long or if it's going too off subject, then I'll excuse myself. Okay, okay sir? Yes. Yeah, it's fine with me. Yeah. It's fine with me. That, that, when you say you're calling people to Islam, yes. Like, say for example, someone like me that left, yeah, because of some concerns, yeah, we we'll, 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 we'll like to address some things, some issues that I have. Because at the end of the day, there's a reason why people leave a religion. Uh -huh. Yeah. And probably they don't have understanding. Uh -huh. They were wrong or whatever. Someone misled them. Yeah. Things like that. Then, yeah. if they come to you, yeah, with the problem. Yeah. Do you think you're in a position to, like, no, I don't, uh, not like maybe you know everything, but you're, like, what you're doing is, like, to try and guide them back, things like that, right? It, it really depends, but usually, because, I, as you know, I'm not a scholar, yeah. usually we're here to discuss the foundations. Okay. E even if you bring a point, yeah. like, for example, if it is marriage to four wives, the issue of jihad, yeah. women covering, which people like to talk about, yeah. we will always return back to the foundation. Once the foundation is established, yeah. like if someone accepts that there's one God, that he's created us for a, a purpose, yeah. that he sent messengers, yes. they accept that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa is the last messenger, they accept the Quran. Once that foundation is there, yeah. then we can discuss the other issues. If someone, what, what, yeah. you mean if someone has said, well, non-Muslim, that's Muslim you're talking about, yeah. right? but what about non-Muslim, like me now? Yeah. Okay, uh, okay, let me, let yeah, me, let Islam, me explain. Islam would say you're an apostate, yeah. All right, let me explain, yeah. okay, let me explain this. Yeah. For example, for last week I was here, I was speaking to Hamza. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. think he's gone back to Saudi. Yeah, he's somewhere. gone back to Saudi, yeah. Yeah. I showed him some things. Yeah. And he said, oh, if he's never seen it before. Okay. He's going to research it. Okay. And I asked him, this thing that I showed you. Yeah. If it's true, do yeah. you think there's a problem? He said yes, but he's going to research it. Okay. And I asked him, he said, what's, what's one of your problems about uh -huh. Islam? Yeah. I said, well, there's so many things. One yeah. thing is, as most Muslims that I know, yeah. and they have knowledge. Because a lot yeah. of, like, what you're doing, yeah. a lot of people don't really have the kind of knowledge that you have, either be Muslim or Christian. Because uh -huh. most people that do this, they don't research, things like that. Yeah, maybe, maybe a bit more than the general More person, than general, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So if we have to I look agree. at it, if we have yeah. to look at it, I would yeah. say percentage of people yeah. that have the kind of knowledge, yeah. either Muslim or Muslim yeah. Christian, 5% uh -huh. in the whole world. Yeah, yeah. Even when it comes to Christianity, yeah. do you get it? Because you've done a lot of research, things like that. So things like that, uh -huh. when I now see people like you, yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to understand, because I know that you've seen both sides of the story, uh -huh. Christian side, Muslim side. To an extent, yes. You do get to an yeah. extent, yeah. more than a lot of people. Possibly, yeah, exactly. I think it's fair to say, yeah. So that's what I want to know from people like you. Yeah. I want to make sure, because looking at it, I see like most, most Muslims, they believe in Islam yeah. blindly. They follow Muhammad blindly. Especially the uh -huh. first Muslims, if you look at the history, I yeah. would call it, the, I would say they follow Muhammad blindly. Do you get it? They don't have the kind of knowledge that we have today, the resources that we have. But you have those resources today. You've gone through. I, 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 I wouldn't say blindly. There, okay. You know, there, there can be a level of ignorance. Yes. Sorry to, sorry to interrupt. Uh, Hans is not here, but the sister's taking a shahada. Is there a contact number that we can give her? Um, sorry, brother. Sorry, sorry. Je, uh, the best no, thing we is. spoke Sunday. The best thing is. The best thing is. I'll come to the speaker's conference. Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. saying yeah. The best thing is to call Hamza. I'll, I'll, okay. I can hear. So it's just that they might have. Yes. So do you understand what I'm saying? Yes. So now for someone like you, yeah. that you've seen certain things, then I'm like, so why, why is it say you're a Muslim? Uh -huh. But be, before it? that, before that, when you say uh, blind faith, yes, I would say, you can say that people, obviously they're born in Muslim families, whether they're Pakistani, Nigerian, yeah, Saudi, yeah, yeah. but also in generally in Muslim societies, people are taught. They're taught the basis of Islam, how to pray, how to read Quran, etc, etc. But also, we would say the actual, to believe in one God and to worship one God alone is something which is very, um, it's the natural disposition of human beings. And then also to believe that messengers are sent. So I, I wouldn't say 
the all the Muslims are majority. Not no, all. no, even even I, I not all. Even I wouldn't say the majority. We have levels of ignorance. We have levels of understanding and knowledge. We're not blind faith. When I say yeah. blind, yeah. yeah, this is what I mean. Yeah. Let's go back to the beginning. Yeah. yeah. Muhammad came. And he, said, said, yes. and he said, he saw an angel. Yes. Muhammad doesn't. Muhammad was was he an idol worshiper before that time? No. Okay, wasn't it? But he wasn't no. serving God. He doesn't know God before that time. It's uh, it's it's not. He black, knows about God. It's, it's not black and white like that. It's not black and white. Yeah, okay. Let's yeah. say he wasn't serving God at the time. He met Jibril. In in, in Islam, as a, as a, in Islam, no. Yeah. yeah exactly. the, the revelation never came yeah. to him. So at that moment in yeah, time, yeah. he doesn't know God. No. You see, if you look, according to history, yeah, whether a person accepts it or not, but. The Arabs themselves, before the Prophet Muhammad sallam, received revelation, the angel Gabriel came to him. Yes. Generally, the people were idol worshippers. Yes. But as idol worshippers, they always believed in one main God, yeah. as the Arabs call Allah. Yeah. And then they had they believed in minor gods who were intermediaries. They believed that I have to worship this one to get to, to get God. To this one, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But they believed in, in God. So the society would have believed in God. Also, there were people in the Arabian Peninsula, they were known as Hunafa. Hunafa, they rejected the culture and the idol worship of the, of the people. And they just said, we are going to worship one God, the God of Abraham, but without knowing all of the regulations and That's exactly revelations. What I'm if you yeah. don't know but, the but not, but not ignorance. Yeah. Not, yeah. Yeah. No, what I'm saying That's is, what I'm saying. someone black can look and white. at the sky yeah. and say someone created this. Yes, 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 yes. But just because you know that you know that someone created it yes. doesn't mean you know that person. But you need to know the person uh -huh. in order for you to worship that person. Like you, like you said, there's a lot of people that they believe that there's one God, but they will, serve, uh -huh. they will worship that God through yeah. his many gods. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they're not Which doing the idol, right idol worshippers. Worship. Yeah. So even though they, they, their intention is good, yeah. but they want to worship that one God, but they're doing it wrongly. Yes. So we won't, we won't class it as something that is right. So that's what no, I'm no, 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 not idol worship, but look. Yeah. The not, belief not, is there. Not to nitpick, but yeah. if you have a person, for example, the Quran never came to them. Yeah. They never heard about Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. They never heard about uh, Jesus yeah. or Moses or Abraham peace upon them. But this person, they understood there's one God. They stayed away from idol worship. They tried to live a good life. Yeah. Then we, we we would say this person, they died in a natural state. Yes, I'll, I'll take yeah. those ones. Yeah, 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 I'll take those ones. So we, we, we wouldn't say that they were completely ignorant or unaware of God. Yeah, but that, that wasn't Muhammad. Yeah. Was, yeah. was that Muhammad? Um, because his father yeah. worshipped Allah. Then his father worshipped Allah. His name is yes. Abdullah. Yes. So, yes. So his family, yes. they worship Allah. No, his, his father, his mother, his grandfather were idol worshippers. What about him? Do you have anything to say he never did it? We don't have... So I'm not honest, saying he did it. I'm no, not no, saying, no, because no. if you don't have anything, we can't say he did it or he didn't do it. We, we have no evidence to say so he did. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We have let's no evidence to say so he did. So let's leave that part so out of as, it. As far as I know, yeah. none of the messengers I think, sorry, be, sorry. before revelation engaged in any type of idol worship. I think there's a hadith yeah. that says yeah. Muhammad, uh, Jibri can't come inside Muhammad's house because he has an idol inside his house. But well, let's forget it. No, 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 that's let's forget incorrect. It. No, no, no. It's incorrect, right? Larry, you know what you... I don't. I don't know if you intended to do it, but you, you know. can't. You can't put something in and then say I didn't intend it. No, the reason it. why I said is this: no. you have heard it before. No, it's a hadith. You can correct it. I can, this is a hadith. Yes. You know the according to Islam, the Prophet sallallahu said that the angels of mercy or the angels do not enter into a house yes. where there's a dog or there's uh, pictures. Just, yeah. Pictures. Yes, like anything there. That... So there was an incident where. Jibril Alayhi never came to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam due to a dog being in the house. But this was this was after Prophethood, not before Prophethood. Yeah, so this wouldn't indicate that he had yeah, idols yeah. or worship Let's idols. Let's forget, like I said, yes. there's yes. nothing. I, I, yes. I, I don't, me, yes. I don't have it. Probably it's out there. I don't have anything I say or worship idols. Why do you say it's probably out there? Because there's a lot of things. I'm sure. No, no, no. But you, the thing is, if you don't have it, you don't have it. Yeah, that's what I said. I don't have yeah. it. I'm saying in front of camera, I don't have it. Yeah, so don't say you, there's probably out there then. You, you understand my point? Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, probably it's not out there. So let's. Yeah. Probably it's not out there. All right. No, no, because I would say it's not. Because the, the thing we understand is yeah. that all of the messengers, before 
they received yeah. revelation they before they re they never worship idols. Okay. Yes. All right. Yeah. Okay. Good. Yeah. So now, Muhammad doesn't know this God. He knows about that God. He knows that God exists. Yeah. Yes. Okay. There's someone that created him and that. But he yes. doesn't really know how do I worship him, things like that. Fair enough. So yeah. when Jibreel now came to him, he yes. said, I'm from that God. Yes. Uh, Muhammad doesn't even know yes. what will happen to him. He yes. had to go to Aisha, uh, Khadija. Oh, so Khadija, sorry. Yes. He had to go to Khadija. Yes. Then Khadija took him to uh, Waraka. Oh, yeah. Okay. So now Waraka is the one that said, the angel that appears to you. He said or affirmed. So, yeah, so the, he affirms okay, it. Okay, yeah, that's yeah, it. He affirms yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I wouldn't say, okay, okay. Waraka is the one that said to Muhammad, after Muhammad explained yes. what happened to him, that, oh, the angel that you're talking about yeah. is the angel that appears to Moses. Yes. Right? Then, it, it's, then he said, oh, your, your messenger, that, oh, you're going to be a prophet. I hope that I need uh, to see the day that you're going to be a prophet, things like that. Yes. And he died a few days after. He said that to Muhammad. Waraka. Uh, okay, so this is the thing. The person that told Muhammad, Muhammad didn't know who uh -huh. he saw. Yeah. If it's angel from God, whatever. Uh -huh. it was oh no, he, he knows what he saw, but he, he, did, he, saw he didn't understand it completely. Yeah, but he doesn't know yeah. if this he angel... He feared for himself. Yes. Yeah, I know, but yes. at the moment he saw yeah. it, it's not 100% sure is uh -huh. it from God or not. He was, okay. Do you get it? At that moment, he can't uh -huh. tell. Yes. But he explained what happened. Uh -huh. And Waraka said, this is it. This is uh -huh. what happened. But Waraka... The, the, same, the same when, according to the book of Daniel, yeah. When the angel came to Daniel, Daniel was in fear. He was scared. Yeah. yeah. The yeah. same. The same when the angel came to Mary yeah. in the Gospel according to Luke. Yeah. Mary was scared, yeah, and yeah, the yeah. angel had to introduce. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, that and is, the same yeah. when the angel went to Zachariah. Exactly. Zachariah yeah. was scared and didn't know and exactly. had to introduce yeah. themselves. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, it's, it. so it's, a, it's a it's a continuous thing. Yeah, but the thing yeah. is this: yeah. Yeah, with those people that you mentioned, yeah, they've already read it before that time. Uh -huh. They know that angels appear to people. Uh -huh. they, they've heard this. Even though it doesn't mean yeah. they cannot be scared. I'm not talking yeah. about being scared. But yeah. at least it's something that is common to them before. Uh -huh. Do you get it? Yeah. But this is a bit new to Muhammad. Uh -huh. Angel appearing. Uh -huh. Then he went back to Khadija, explained it to Khadija. This is it. And Khadija said, Oh, let's I'll take you to it. it, it no, before it. that. Um, okay, let me, I'm, I'm only paraphrasing. No, it's in Bukhari. Maybe it, yeah. Basically, Khadija. I know the story. Well, the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam he feared for himself. Yes, it's something which he's never seen before. Yes. Okay. Yeah. The first five verses of the Quran, "Iqra uh, bismi Rabbi Kaladi Khalaq," were revealed, but the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam doesn't understand it, or he's he's in fear. So when he goes to Khadija, yeah. Khadija says, "Wallahi, I swear by Allah, Allah will never humiliate you." Yeah, I get it. Yeah, I mean, yeah. You take care of the poor. You, yeah, you, nice you, 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 you look after the families. You keep the ties of relationship. Those you don't have, you take care of them. And then they went to her, her uncle, yes. who was who translated some of the Hebrew writings into Arabic. When you say Hebrew writing, you mean that by Hebrew? It would be the Bible. Hebrew, okay. Yeah, yeah. And then, from his knowledge, he affirmed that this is the same angel that came to, yes, to Moses exactly. and then he made a statement that's where he said as you know he said that I, I hope that I live I long enough idiot. that when your people they kick you out yeah. or they exile you yeah. that I will be with there I will be there to, to support, support you, support you. Yeah. and the Prophet وسلم, he asked will my will people he will, will he send me out yeah. And his uncle replied, it has never happened. There are people, they come with this message, except their people force them out. Yeah. And then, as you know, 30, happened, 13 yeah. years later, it happened as it said. Yeah. Yeah. So this is not the thing. Yeah. Waraka is the one that said it. Yes. Angel uh -huh. that appears to Moses. Yeah. Because of knowledge he has. Yes. And in order for him to get the knowledge, he has yeah. to be from whatever that he was reading. Uh -huh. to, being Torah. Yeah. Right. But the thing is, we, what we know today, yeah. There's no angel. Gabriel never appeared to Moses in the Torah. Uh -huh. They've never talked about uh -huh. Gabriel appearing to uh -huh. Moses. So uh -huh. where Waraka got that from, nobody uh -huh. knows. And who, uh -huh. who's Waraka? He used to be a, is, is, uh -huh. a, is a, is a used to be uh, I don't know if it was idol worshiper, but uh -huh. Arab guy. Yeah, yeah. That converted to Christianity, Christianity. Or, or Judaism. Yeah, yeah. It has to be Christianity. Okay. So they. Uh, because uh, uh, at the time they said it was uh, Ibonite or something. I don't know if it was Ibonite. No, it said, it said Ibrani. It said Hebrew. Hebrew. He, he, he used to know Hebrew. He used to know yeah. Hebrew. So yeah. we consider him as Judaism, right? Is that what we're going to I don't know. We don't know. Exactly. No, no, no. 
Not we don't. Me, me, me and you, me and me you, you don't know. Yeah. So so possibly even, others know, yeah. yeah. Possibly others know. Yeah. And that's exactly why I was saying, yeah. maybe it's out there. Yeah. But with what I've seen, yeah. there's nothing. I've, I've checked the date. Yeah. The only time that Waraka saw Waraka is those, that's just a story uh, I saw by him. Yeah. There's no other thing about Waraka. Yeah. But the thing is now, uh -huh. if it's Torah that he's talking about, uh -huh. we have the same Torah to today. That's, have, a, that's, that's a separate issue. That's a separate issue. That's yeah. a separate issue. The Torah, yeah. because, have, because do you know what Torah, what Torah that the Arabs had at the time? It has to be from from Jews. It has to be from no, Jews. no. But do you know what books it contained? Did it contain all the books? Did it contain some of some the of books? books? Okay, I get what do, you're saying. Do you know? I don't know. Okay, but why? Okay, but well, you're building an argument on something. Yeah, I will tell you. The, yeah. I will tell you why I yeah. believe that we have the same Torah. The, what I can yeah. must have had then. Yeah. Now I will tell you why. Before Muhammad, yeah, they've already compiled uh -huh. what Bible is, the one that Christians are using today, which is Old Testament, New Testament. What is going to be inside Old Testament, uh -huh. and what's going to be inside New Testament? Okay. And at that time, yes, are you saying that all of the Jews, the Abbasids, all of the Christians, have agreed on the canon? At the time, yeah, yeah at that time, agreed, at agreed. that time, at the time of Muhammad. And, and you saying that no one else used any other books? I didn't or, say that. I'm uh, saying Christian. No, no, no. Are, are you are you saying that there was no what what the Christians consider today to be apocrypha? Are yeah. you saying that no one used them? They did exactly. They, that's they what, did. They what did. I'm saying. What okay. we consider as a Christian today, uh -huh. like the Christianity that the Christian that we consider today as 60, a Christian, sixty-six books or seventy-three. Not, not the not the not the uh, Catholic one. Yeah, I'm not talking about Catholic. Books. Why not? Because I'm not a Catholic. No, 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 but okay. But the Catholics at that time they yes. agreed on seventy-three books. Yeah, exactly. They okay. agreed on and the Catholic and the 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 Protestants didn't exist at they that time. Exist. That's the answer. So they didn't they exist. Did so it would be the Catholic one, seventy-three okay. books. So they have some pretty whatever whatever they have yeah. that time and now yeah. they still here today. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, okay. But I'm asking you a question. Yes. Is it possible yeah. that uh, Noful bin Waraka he had other books? Yes, that says which, what you said. Because you know, the, you know the when the Protestant Church yes. of England when they say the Old Testament is thirty-nine books. Yeah. Okay. You know the Jews they separate them different and yes. they place in a different order yes. and they say twenty-four. Yes. Okay. Is it possible that Waraka had books other than those twenty-four which the Jews had? It is possible. Okay. Yeah. Okay. This. That, yeah. I get it. It okay. is possible. This is what I'm trying. What, what I'm trying so, to say. So. So. And and is it and also you know. You know, um, for example, as you said, Church of England, 66 books. Okay, you believe in 66 books. You know those 66 books, you do know they quote from the Apocrypha. Okay. Uh, uh, yes or no? Do I know that one? Like, for example, the Book of Jude. Yeah. It quotes from uh, the Book of Enoch. Okay. Okay. Do you know in the Old Testament, it will quote from the books of uh, the kings, the books of wars. Um, What's the? There's a book concerning Moses. There's a book. No, 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 no. But because I, wh where I see you're coming from, you're coming from the the point you made was that uh, Noah bin Waraka, because he was reading the Torah, the Torah which you accept reading, yeah. does doesn't mention that Jibril Ali exactly, came that's what we're to Moses. Exactly, yeah. Therefore, when the, he said that to, about to the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, it must be false or a lie. No, I never said that. No, okay. no, no, I'm but just that's, trying that, to clarify. That's, that's, what, that's what you're implying. Maybe we'll get to there. Yeah, yeah that's what. Maybe, maybe that's we'll that's where I see where you're going. Maybe so, we'll get there, but so, you have to understand why I'm saying it first. So, 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 no. But my point is, yeah. if you have the canon today, yes. the canon today quotes from many books which are not considered canon. Yeah. Like, for example, the Book of Jude, it quotes from the Book of Enoch. But Christians today don't accept the Book of Enoch. Uh, there's books concerning Moses, which are quoted from. There's books concerning the I kings think, of I Israel. Think you've, I think you've, yeah. uh, I think you've yeah. missed my point. Yeah. Forget about what people are quoting from. Yeah. What I'm trying to say is this. Yeah. Uh, before that time happened, everything that was there is yeah. still here to today. No, no, but my point is, my point is that it's possible that Noho bin Waraka, he came across something else, uh, something else yes. which you don't consider now to be canon. I'm not talking about yeah. him. I'm talking about Christians. Uh, uh -huh. That's talking a, about but Catholic. That's a, but that's, that's the point you mentioned. No, the, no, no, I'm the, saying Catholic. No. I'm talking about. No, no, very, 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 Larry, look. Yeah. Very clearly, yeah. the point you made was that that Waraka uh, bin Nofal. Nofal bin Waraka, Waraka bin Nofal. I, I will yeah. check. 
that he told the Prophet وسلم, that the angel that came to you is the same angel that came to Moses. Yes. And then you continued by saying, it's not mentioned in the Torah we have, we have today, today. Exactly. that the angel Gabriel came to Moses. Yes. So I'm asking you, are you definite? Yeah, I'm that, definite. No, 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 that's that point. Yeah. I'm asking you, are you definite that the, the books which uh, he was reading yeah. and translating didn't contain that information, considering that there are many books which are not considered canon today. Yes. Well, that, okay. My answer to that is I'm not sure what he was reading. You're not sure. So you yeah, can't you can't build an argument hold on, on something. I'll tell you. Hold on. I'll tell you why. Can you build an argument can, on something you're not sure? I can. If, you if, can build an argument on something you're not sure. What, what I'm saying is yeah. I'll, I'll build an argument on something that Quran says, uh -huh. and something that we know. Uh -huh. And this is a failure. Yeah? Because by the time, the yeah. reason why I said by that time, yeah. the body said this is what's going to be inside Bible, New Testament, Old Testament. Uh -huh. Whether you agree with it, whether you don't, uh -huh. you already know everything to today. Yeah. The ones that they agree with, we know it. The ones that yeah. they don't agree with, we know it. We can go back and look at it yeah. and say, it's, uh, what's it called? The, uh, one of the ones that we don't agree with, does it even contain anything that has Moses and, Jibril, uh, Moses and Gabriel? We don't have anything like that. Okay. Do but, you get what I'm saying? But, but I'm saying you do understand that the canon which you have today, 66 books, does quote from books outside the 66 books. The books outside the 66 books, yes. I know. It does. Okay, this, this it is does. the one that you're saying, yeah? yeah? Can we read it today or not? No, no, but does it? Yeah. Sorry? Does it? Does it what? Does the 66... No, I, I'm, I agree. The 66 books yeah. which the church has today, yeah. the Church of England, yeah. Protestant Church, yeah. it quotes from books yeah. which we don't have today. I agree. But are you are you definitely saying that those books were not available at that time? The ones that they put from? Yeah. No, no, what I'm saying is this, yeah? Yeah. When well, they I'm agreed, listening to you. I'll find the hadith it's, while you're talking. Okay. When yeah. they agreed with this, yeah. that this is what is going to be inside uh -huh. of Bible, Old Testament, New Testament. Everything they agreed on that time, it says yeah. here to today. Whether some people agree with it or not, it's still there to today. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Whatever they agree with before Muhammad came, yeah, yeah, we yeah. still have it today. And, they, what, and, what and no one and no one and no one else from that time used any other books. Some other people use it. But okay. they, I'm talking about Christian. Because when Allah was when Allah was addressing, no, Allah but was addressing you're you're you're, make, you're you're making you're making a I understand where you're going. Yeah. You're making a, a claim which is on a basis. Did Allah, uh, did Allah let, me fin, let me finish this. You're making a claim on a particular basis. Yes. But I'm trying to show you that the basis doesn't stand up. And I'm trying to make you understand why the yeah. basis stand up. Let me explain it to you, uh -huh. then you understand. Yeah. When Allah was addressing uh -huh. Christian and Jews, Allah yeah. knows who, who he was addressing, yes or no. He knows that there's other groups that are not Christian, but they call uh -huh. themselves Christians, right? Yeah. So Allah will not be addressing those groups. Uh -huh. Do you get it? Yes. So if Allah is addressing, Allah is addressing Christians, Yes. And Jews, yes. Whoever else, yes, is not. It's none of Allah's business. Allah is addressing Christians, Jews. At, the, at that time when He's addressing them, yes. Do you get it? So yes. if anybody has yeah. any other books, yeah. yeah, it doesn't have anything to do with Allah. No, no, no. But are, are you definitely saying that the the Arab Christians or the Jewish Christians only had sixty-six books at that time? I know I didn't say they only. They, I didn't say they only had sixty-six books. But what I'm saying is, did they have Christians did at they, that time? Did they have more? Did, like for example, the Ethiopians. Yeah. yeah. How much is in their canon? You're not getting what I'm saying, yeah. I, I'm getting what you're See, saying. You know, as a Christian, then yeah, yeah, you have to follow certain things. Okay. You have to believe this, believe that, believe this, uh -huh. believe in all these books, yeah. Yeah. Even if some people consider themselves Christian at that time. And they don't believe in that, in, in maybe 66 books, 60 books, they are not doing the right thing. Where does your book say that? What? That what? Where does my book say that? Yeah, where does your book say that? Because my book doesn't say it. But what I'm saying is that... So where did you get this belief from? Because that's the, what the church found out. That's what they agreed on. And we believe when, that they when were... Did they, when did they agree upon that? Before my mother came. And they, did they agree on it based on the Bible or based, based on, on the teaching? Based on the from Holy Spirit. Uh, so can you show it to me? I don't know. They, they do that. No, no, see, the thing is, you're, you're trying to establish a point. And I'm saying that the point has not been established. Your, your point is that you're saying that when, uh, let me just find the hadith. When he mentioned, okay, when Waraka mentioned that the angel came to you is the same angel that came to Moses, your point is, 
that the 39 books of the Old Testament, which you as a Protestant accept, yes. and the 24 books which the Jews today accept as canon, doesn't contain that information, yes. therefore it must be false. That's your point. That's my point. But my point to you is, I'm asking you to establish that that was the knowledge which he had and the limit of the knowledge he had, that no one else had any other books. Because the, the canon, the canon of the Protestant church, the 66 books, these books themselves quote from Apocrypha. And the Old Testament, many times it quotes from books that don't exist. Do you remember the first question I asked you? I said before Muhammad. Yeah. Yeah. The, the numbers of books that yeah. we have today, whether yeah. it's 24, whether it's 30, yeah. do we still have those numbers? You know some, like they said, yeah. Catholic, they have how many numbers? 73. 70, 73. Yeah. We have 60. So why, why are the Catholics, so, why are the Catholics oh, wrong, don't, don't wrong and you're right? Let's, let's finish first. The 70 that they have, they 73, still have it today. 73. 73. They still have yeah. it today, yeah. right? Yeah. And it was a long time ago, but they still have it today. Yeah. Okay. The ones that we have is less than theirs. Do you yes. get it? So yeah. we can still go back and say, okay, then and now, yeah. this one has 73. Inside that 73, we can't find it. Can you find it? The one that they agreed on. No, then. no, no. But even the 73 and the 66, they quote from books which you don't consider to be canon. I'm trying to, I'm trying you, to you understand my point. I get what you're saying. I'm trying to explain okay. something to you. The ones that they agreed on then become okay. Canon. They still have it today. Do you right? accept the book of Enoch as hold canon? Hold on, hold on, hold on. No, let's, don't let us go there for now. The reason why I'm saying this is yeah. this. Allah addressed Bible. And no, Torah. he doesn't, he doesn't he mention the Bible. No, not Bible, sorry. He addressed Torah and Hindu. Okay. And the reason why Allah addressed it is because it's available at that time. Okay. It was available at that time. Okay, listen. listen Do you get what I'm saying? Listen, listen, listen. Think carefully. Yes. Let's, let's not jump. Yeah. When the Quran yeah. mentions Injil yeah. and Torah, yeah. does the Quran explain does Allah Himself explain the intent of the Injil in the Torah? No. Of course, He explains. No, you said the, the what? The intent of it. Yeah, the intent. Okay, the intent. Sorry. The, the, the intent. intent the intent. The intent. I mean, we can bring the verses. The intent. I thought, I thought you mean that. Did He explain? Okay. So, so the in, the intent of the let's take the Injil in the Torah is what was revealed to Moses yeah. and what was given to Jesus. Okay. So for example, in the Quran, I'm sure you're aware, Surah Ma'idah, uh, chapter 5, verse 44, it mentions, وَقَفَيْنَا عَلَىٰ ثَارِهِمْ بِعِيسَ بْنَ مَرْيَمْ مَصَدِّقًا لِمَا بَيْنِ يَدَيْهِ مِنَ التَّوْرَاتِ وَآتَيْنَاهُ الْإِنْجِيلُ The Quran is very explicit, that after Moses, we sent Jesus, the son of Mary, confirming the Torah given to Moses and we gave him we gave him the Injil okay uh, chapter 19 Surah Maryam verse 30 Qala inni abadullah atani al-kitab Isa alayhi salam says whether you accept it or not but this is the Quran's position yeah, yeah. verily I am a prophet a messenger a prophet from God, from yeah, Allah. That's what Jesus said. And I have been given a scripture, I've been given a book. So, when the Quran says the Torah and the Injil, it is referring to the revelation. As for... Torah is revelation, but... Uh, as for 27 books yeah, of the New Testament, which were all written after Jesus was taken up. Yeah. This is not the intent of the Injil. Even though it is possible, that some of those 27 books contain the true message. But we will only know what is the true message by the Quran, chapter 5, verse 46, that the Quran is a judge over the previous books. So anything which is revealed in Quran, which, which affirms what you have today, and you call the Old Testament the New Testament, once the Quran affirms it is correct. But once it goes against the Quran, such as that God rested on the seventh day, yeah, yeah. that God had a son, yeah, yeah. that God became a human being and came down to earth, that the son of God died on the cross for the sins yeah. of mankind. The Quran rejects it. So this I is don't, so don't. this is not the intent of the Injil and the and the Torah within the Quran. I get, I get it. Yeah. But the thing is this year, when you say You get it, but uh, uh, why, why would you say you get it, but? 
I said, no, no, no. You said it contradicts. I get it, but, but it contradicts uh, itself. Quran contradicts yeah. itself by saying that. That's why I said. Where does the Quran before. contradict itself? Hold, hold on, hold on. Let's continue, because so that we don't digress. It's not digress. You this is the very time. You said Al Kitab. Uh -huh. It was given to you. Jesus. Jesus. Yeah. You mean a book? Is that what you mean? Is that what you understand? Al Kitab. Yes. In jail. So when you say in jail, you mean like a book? It was yes. given to him from God. Yes. So in what way? Like it dropped from heaven or something like that? I don't get it. I don't know. So, but you believe there is a physical book that God gave it to him? That's, yes. that's your belief? Yes. We, what, as Muslims, what we believe is the, the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he received his revelation I, I over 23 one. years. Yeah. No, Jesus, no, he said, I'm The Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. I'm, I'm telling I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you. Okay. As for the previous messengers, yeah. they received their revelation in one go. In one go? In one go, yes. So, so everything that Moses knows, it received the yes. one. Yes, yes, in one go. In one go. But yes. what about Isa? Because that's what I'm talking about. He received the book in well, one go. In jail. We gave him the in so jail. He, just, he received the book, physical yeah. book. That's yeah. what. So he was as far as we know. Book. As far as we know. But you don't have evidence for that. As I just told the you, the only thing he said, he said Al Kitab. But Al Kitab that you said is this a book? Uh -huh. Then it means that for it to be a book, it must have been given to him. There's nothing that explains it. I have but, been given the book. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. Cool. Yeah. So now, yeah. According to what you're saying. Jesus must have been teaching people with that book. Everything that he sees in the book. So the book is what we are supposed to consider as in Jew. Not what, yes. what exactly. Yeah. That's what not, not the letters of Paul. Not the letters of not Paul. The letters of Peter, not the letters of Peter. Jude. Jude. Not the, not the uh, revelation. revelation. Not the four gospels. Not the four gospels. Yeah. So if what you are saying is yeah. true. Yeah. Jesus Christ died and rose again. Over 500 years before Muhammad. If, if what I'm saying is true, if what you're saying no, no. Is true. If, if what I'm saying is true, that Isa alayhi salam did not die. No, no, no. That he was taken okay, up. Okay, Six hundred okay. years. All right, okay. Let's yeah, okay. Let's yeah. let me rephrase it. As a Muslim, yeah. what, that's what you yeah. say. Yeah. But as a Christian, before yeah. Muhammad came, at least five hundred before Jesus Christ. Yeah. At least five hundred before yeah. Jesus Christ. And during that time, that's when Paul wrote his book that we are calling Bible today. Yeah. That's what Luke. Everybody wrote what we are calling Bible today. Christians. Everyone. Okay, everyone. Everyone. No, no, everyone. That we are said. No, 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 no. no. Yeah. That we are said as a Christian. I'm okay. not going to talk for somebody okay. else. So, these books, yeah. these 27 books. Yeah. Okay. If you don't know, just say, when did the church decide that these 27 books they did a lot of are, are the canon? They did a lot of meetings. Uh, no, no, but what, 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 no, let's forget about the exact date. But we know it happened before no. Muhammad. Okay. okay. I, I've got it a lot. I've got it. No, no, no. But, but the point is, yeah. because you're implying, you're implying that for 500, 600 years, yeah. all of the church it's had a, had agreed on these 27 no, no, books. No, no, no. That's not what I said. Just so now. they haven't. What I just said, it's yeah. been written before. Muhammad. Was there any uh, Was there any early Christian groups? Who didn't believe Jesus died on the cross? That's not. The, that's not what we're talking about. No, you're not getting it. No, no. But but, but you're implying. Yeah, some, no, some, no. Because because yeah. what you're implying, like without, I'm just gonna say without <laughs> without being rude. Yeah. You're, I'm trying to make it easy. That's no, 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 no. You all of these arguments are old. No, you, you're not, no, no, no. No, you, no, you know they're old. No, no. I'm, it's okay. Old. Has any has anyone asked them before? Has anyone asked this before? Yeah, these questions before. It's possible, yeah. But I'm many just, people, many just people. Trying to have an and of something. and have the Muslims answered them as well? I mean, you you you, you look. You can say. Yeah, they agree with you what can, I'm you, saying. You can they no no no. You can say I'm not satisfied with the answer. No but, no. Most Muslims that I've seen, they uh, agree with what I'm saying. I don't think so. Okay, it's the thing. Because you're not. Because I'm not telling you, look, if, even if you go on Google, yeah. if you look up these these are arguments you're making. Yeah. I haven't um, made an argument. Okay. I'm trying to get yeah, 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 yeah. the point you're your point you're leading to. You will find Christian, maybe atheist, maybe Jewish uh, scholars, layman, apologists who have put these arguments. Yes. And on the same search, you can find the response, the response yes. from from Muslims, whether you agree with the response or not. But the response is there. No, the, the understanding is what I'm trying to yeah, say. Yeah. What I'm saying is this, yeah. Yeah. Before, you, yeah. because she says it's a book. Yeah. That Allah gave one uh, Jesus Christ. Yes. And the, we know that that book is not the one that Luke said he wrote. Yes. Do you get it? 
we know that that's not the book because you're, you're i'm trying to say it to can you give me no i i agree it's not the, it's so not the 27 if, so if you say so therefore the the quran is not affirming the bible that's my point done. i'm saying you're yeah. getting it wrong uh -huh. and this is why you're getting it wrong because if what you're saying is true yeah allah should not address what luke wrote he should not address what mark wrote he should not address it as in jew and why? it should, should not address what jews have why? as a torah why why because why? it's not what you gave to jesus that's what you said. Okay, okay, okay. Listen, listen. Yeah. The Quran is very clear. Look, let me show you. The Quran is very clear yeah. on the intent. See, the thing is, you're aware. The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam he received his prophethood at the age of forty. Yes. And then he stayed in the city of Mecca for thirteen years. Then he went to Medina. When he went to Medina. You know, there is three Jewish tribes. Yeah. Bani Nadir, Bani Qaynuqa, uh, and Bani Quraiza. There were three Jewish tribes, and they were there expecting a prophet to come. When the prophet came, and he wasn't from the line of uh, Israel, they rejected him. many of them, they rejected him. The same people who rejected Jesus when he came as the Messiah, they rejected him. But amongst them, there were Jewish scholars who accepted Islam, like Abdul ibn Salam. And they, these people, they had knowledge of the Torah. They had knowledge of what was given to Musa salam. They had knowledge of what was uh, changed as well. They accept, sorry, yeah. they accept Muhammad, but they didn't accept Jesus Christ. And you said they have knowledge. They don't have any knowledge. No, once they, once they accept, once those, if a Jewish person, for example, they embrace Islam yeah. and they accept Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, by necessity they accept Jesus. No, they as, accept it blindly. They, they accept Jesus the Messiah. Blindly. Why is blindly? Because you have to accept Jesus first. Uh -huh. If you accept Jesus, Why? then you understand who Jesus is. Well, okay, right. Because it's from God. That's you, what you, you said. You, you made a point. You yes. made a point. Yeah. But I, where does it where does it say that if a person accepts the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he has to accept Jesus first? If a person wants to accept Muhammad, like for example, yeah. like for example, if we have a person who's, a, for example, Hindu, yeah. and the Hindu embraces Islam, yeah. and he embraces Islam, he accepts that none has the right to be worshipped yes. by Allah, and Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is the last messenger. He accepts that. Are you saying that this Hindu Islam is not correct because he should have accepted Noah first, then Abraham, then Moses, then Jesus? That. I won't okay. That. So, Ask me why. That's so. Why. So when a, when a Jewish scholar, yes. such as the ones in Medina, who were waiting for a prophet, were, and when yeah. the prophet came, they rejected him. But from them, from their scholars, yes. like Abdul ibn Salam, yes. they accepted the prophet وسلم, as the messenger. Once they accept him as the messenger, they accept everything that comes in the Quran and the Sunnah concerning Isa And I said, those yeah. guys that you call yeah. scholars, yeah. they are people that they don't have knowledge. Because if uh, you have knowledge, then you will accept Jesus Christ before Muhammad. Because you will know that as a, as a Jewish, yeah. as a Jewish person yeah. that believe in God, uh -huh. that accept Torah, you will know that there's a messenger coming, uh -huh. and you know that it's, it's Jesus Christ. So if you miss that, that uh -huh. means you don't have knowledge. Not so, really, not necessarily, not necessarily. Look, see the thing is, look, you need to understand. It's Jesus. It's Jesus from God. Yes, one hundred percent. As but, a Messiah, but, but they refuse. They refuse to accept it yes. as a messenger, yes. as a prophet. Yes. So if someone that uh -huh. knows God claims yes. that I know God uh -huh. and I know the way of God, uh -huh. and God sends someone and reject that person, and they are doing what they are not supposed to be doing, that person, I'm going to listen to that person, a sinner. That okay. person is a sinner at that moment. Can Can a person make tova any time before death? Can they make Can, can they? Can a person make tova any time before death? Yeah, they can. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So what's your, really your, so what your point? So what is your point? Okay, my point what is, is your point? Okay, yo, listen. Yeah. My point is, yeah. in other, the only reason why they accept Jesus uh -huh. Christ is not because they believe in Him. It's uh -huh. because they believe in Muhammad. Yes. Do you get it? So if they never believe in Muhammad, they will never believe in Jesus Christ. Okay. So that means they never believe in Jesus Christ. Okay. But do they believe in Him? They don't. That's okay. what I'm saying. Okay. okay. Listen. Listen. A Christian. Yes. A Christian. Yeah. Do you believe in Moses? Yes. Why? Because I believe in Torah. Okay, okay. Why do you believe in the Torah? Because I believe in Torah. That's why I believe why it's from God. Why, you, yeah, because I'm a Christian. A, a, but a Christian, yeah. a Christian believes in the Torah yeah. because he's a Christian. You understand? I, yeah, because it's from it's before okay. Christ. So are, are you saying, are you saying that if you have an atheist? Yes. Like, let's, let's, let's run with your example. Yeah. If you have an atheist, yeah. He believes, or someone he says, I believe in God, but I don't know the right way. Yes. 
and then he comes across a Christian. Yes. That are you saying that his belief in Moses wouldn't be correct? Because he only believes in Moses because he became a Christian. No, I wouldn't uh, say that. Yeah. Yeah, let, let me tell yeah. you why I said it. Uh -huh. But these people already believe in Torah. Uh -huh. That's what you said. Yeah. So if you already believe in Torah, uh -huh. you're already talking to God. Yeah. You already know the ways of God. Yeah. And God now sends another messenger to you. Yeah. If you disobey, uh -huh. that's, a, that's a sin then. Uh -huh. If you don't know, it's different. But you know and you uh -huh. refuse. Okay. That's a sin. But you have to understand. Yes. You have to understand. If you speak to Jews today, yes, okay. From what we understand, yes. the reason why when Jesus came as a Messiah, yes. as a messenger, yes. the re when he came to the lost sheep of the, ch of the children of Israel, yes. many of them rejected him because out of arrogance, because he told them to go back to the Torah, to go back to the teachings of Moses, and to worship God correctly, and leave off the traditions they made up. Yeah. So they rejected him. Yeah. So they were they became disbelievers. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Exactly, disbelievers. You just said it. Yes, yes, yeah. I accept that. The the issue today is if you go to a Jew yeah. and you ask them why you don't accept Jesus today, yes. even though we still consider them as disbelievers yeah. for rejecting Jesus, yeah. the Messiah, and yeah. rejecting the last messenger, Muhammad sallallahu yeah. alayhi wa sallam. The reason they give you will be different. What's the reason? The reason they will give you is because of the, the misguidance and the lies of Christianity but about not, Jesus. But no one is saying that. About no. Why Jesus? are they not accepting it uh, now? No, no. no, the lies and the misguidance saying that Jesus is God yeah. or he's part of the Trinity yeah. or that God came down to die for your sins. Yeah. So Jews will reject that's what you Jesus said well then. today. But that's what they said that time. No, before. he never said that. He okay. never said that at the time. That's what they said that time. Before. He never said that at the time. Okay. Then. Because look, let's see. When you what did they, sorry, what did they accuse him of? The Jews. You said he didn't say that, but what did they accuse him of? What? Okay. But what are you basing your belief about Jesus and the Jews upon? I'm saying what did Jews no, what accuse? Are you, okay. What but, did they accuse but him you're of? Basing, because you said he never but said. But you're basing on the New Testament, aren't you? What? You're basing it on the, the New the, Testament. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. New Testament, yeah. So. The 27 books of the New Testament, yeah. what are they to you? What do you mean? They are Word of God. Some of them Word of God, some of them are just like a story of what happened here. Yeah. I don't get what you mean. What's, what do you mean what are they to me? Okay, so some of it is the Word of God yeah. and some of it is stories. Like something that happened that is recorded, yeah. Okay, so yeah. Some, is, some is history, history and some yeah. is the Word of God. Yeah. Okay. So 27 books, yeah. how do you know what is the word of God and what is history? Because if you're reading it, you'll see it there. If, so, if I say oh, Jesus Christ went to Galilee today and he, he performed miracle, that's not word of God. That's something happened that is recorded. If I said, hear O Israel, okay. the Lord your God is one, it's from God, then I will know this is God talking. Yeah, that's, that's, that's no, So what's your distinction? What do you mean? Like, for example, whether you accept it or not, as yeah. Muslims, we believe the Quran is the word of God. Is the word of yeah, God. Yeah, yeah. All revelation, All yeah. not the word of Angel Gabriel, not Everything the word of the Prophet. Allah, this, is the, this is our position. I know that, yeah. But when you say that, when you're now you're basing something as this happened, this was the reality, and you're basing it on the New Testament. Okay. I want to know why you're basing it on the New Testament. And this you. My book. I, okay, it's your book. It's your book. But. When you say some of it is the word of God and some of it is the word of men, yeah. how do you distinguish? When you're reading it, you can distinguish when you're reading Why? something. Because they don't claim. Because like I said, if I said, oh, I saw Jesus Christ uh -huh. doing this, then yeah. I will know that someone is explaining what happened. Uh -huh. But if I see where it says, God said to David yeah. in the Bible, yeah. here in Israel, God is talking here. Okay. So according to the four gospels, yeah. When Jesus is crucified, I forgot to we're the We're digressing because we're not going. No, back. this is my point. Are these are these the words of men talking about what happened, or the words of God? Which one? Which one? Yeah, you when it to. says Jesus was crucified, according to that's what of uh, word of men. Word of men. Yeah, completely. They are saying what happened. So it's not the word of God. A uh, what? Yeah, that Jesus died on the cross for the sins of mankind. Is that the words of God or the words of men? It depends. Can you quote the Bible verse? Then I will know which one you're talking about. Because I don't know. If someone, like I said, if something happened, someone explain it. Like John, John 3, 16. Okay. That God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him might be saved. Is that the word of God or is that the word of men? John 3, 16. John 3, 16 is the word of God. 
How, where does it say this? Hold on, is the hold on, word? Hold on. Where does it say this is the word of God? Hold on, hold on. Because there's 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 places that they wrote when Jesus Christ is talking. So every time Jesus Christ is talking, the because Bible, it's red. It's, yeah. So that's. But if, if you if you got two Bibles and one says a verse is red and another says it's not red, then no no no, no it doesn't matter. If so far as Jesus Christ is talking, that's what I'm saying. It doesn't matter if it's red or not. So if Jesus Christ says something, it's the word of God, even if it's a person saying that Jesus Christ said it. It depends if he's saying what God says, because Moses said things that God says, and we know it's from God. Yeah, O Israel, the Lord your God is one. Who told Moses? So if Moses is saying it, it doesn't mean that Moses no, no, is you, not saying you, it. You, you should have some criteria to tell what is from right, God and what is okay, not. Let's go from back God. to what we're saying. This is what we're saying. No, what we're talking about, we're talking about Waraka. And you, you mentioned Jews that there yeah. before, and you said those Jews they well, believe in Torah. Scholars. Scholars, yeah. they believe in Torah. Yeah. And I said to you, if someone actually a scholar, yeah. believe in Torah, follow yeah. God, then they will listen to God. The moment they don't listen to God anymore, you call them disbelievers. disbelievers. So if a disbeliever is not telling you something... Can a disbeliever be a scholar? A, yeah, they can be. Okay. But no, no, we're, not, we're not talking about scholar, we're talking about knowing God. Uh, Do you get it? So yeah. if a disbeliever... No, no, but my, my point is... Can a disbeliever is, teach you about, about, about God? My point is, look... Can you believe I teach you like that? You're basing an argument. You're basing a you're basing a simple argument that this didn't appear, that Moses, that the angel Gabriel appearing to Moses yeah. didn't appear in the Torah. We've established, I think very clearly, yeah. that you can't you you're you're unable to affirm I can. That's what I'm trying to get to. And I'm telling you the reason that, why that, I can say that, it is that Waraka had access to only twenty 39 books. No, the reason why I'm saying yeah. is this. Let yeah. me explain to you. Because yeah. Allah addressed the book that we have. Yeah. The one that we call Bible, Allah addressed it. Where? Exactly, in Quran. Where? In Quran. What That's verse? what I'm trying to get. Exactly. What, what verse? But, uh, chapter 2. A lot of things. Hold on, hold on. Before we get there. No, no, you because the, the Quran doesn't doesn't the Quran doesn't address the books in your hand. Wait. In chapter two, it addresses. You don't know it, and I want to explain it. Can I explain Woe it? to those who wrote the books with their hands. Can I explain it? The Quran hold addresses on. this. Hold yeah. on, let's get there. But ah. that's what I'm trying to. I'm trying to take you there. That, okay, this is yeah, the yeah. thing. Quran chapter two address this. Yes. Okay. So this is it. This Where? Is, in which verse? Wait. Because <laughs> uh -huh. it's a lot. I want to explain before we get into it. Yeah. Hold on. So what I'm saying is this. I want you to have but Chapter 2 addresses the fact that the Jews knew a, the angel Gabriel as well. Do you accept that? I don't accept it. Okay. Let me finish. So, so what's your criteria? Let for me finish. Like, like, if I explain this thing to you. Let me, let me just say something very yeah. quickly, Larry. Let me just tell you something. Yeah. I have a criteria. Yes. Of when you bring the Old Testament, yeah, okay. the New Testament, yeah. the 66 books, the 73 books, the 80 books, the 90 books, yeah. according to which the nomination you follow. Yeah. I have a criteria what I accept. Okay. My criteria is the last messenger came with a book which is preserved, which we have today. Yeah. And he came with a, his teachings, his sunnah. Yeah. That's my criteria. Where did you get your criteria from? Okay. The Quran itself. Exactly. And I'm uh, using the same Quran. So, 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 so. So when you now, you tell me that you, you quote and say in chapter two, it says this. Exactly. And then I'm telling you in chapter two, yes. it mentions that the, the Jews were aware of the angel Gabriel bringing revelation. And you said, I don't accept that. I'm asking you, what's your criteria of what you accept in Quran and what you don't accept in Quran? My criteria yeah. is okay. the Bible. What, what have, uh, Bible. Your criteria is the Bible. Yeah, my criteria is Bible for me not to accept Quran. That's okay. my criteria. Okay. But hold on. Hold so on. that's that's the whole point. No, of no, no, no. Hold that's on. the whole point of I'm trying to understand what the Bible is to you hold and how do you know what is from God hold and what on, is from hold men. On, hold on, hold on. What so, I'm saying is yeah. this, even the Quran that you you are now using as your criteria didn't say what you said. Do you get it? If oh, it does. Use, okay. it does. It and does. That's what we're going to look I already at quoted it. the verse to you. Hold on. I said the same. I mean, me too. I'm the one that mentioned well, it. I'm, on I'm the one that mentioned The Quran it. is a judge over the previous okay, revelations. Okay, now hold on. Hold on. Yeah. Let me now explain before we go into yeah. chapter 2. Because well, I'm trying to make you understand something. Because it uh, seems that you think you're not getting this part. Uh, when you say there's a book for Jesus Christ, yes. if Allah is going to address, Allah should not address what Luke wrote right. He should where, not wrote what Paul right. Where does it say that? Because you said that's not in view. That's what you said. No, 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 no. As I said to you, yes. what is I, I, I said to you, I said to you, yes. Larry, the 27 books yes. of the New Testament you have today, yeah. we do not consider this, this in Jew. Jew. let me finish, we do not consider this as the Injil, exactly. but 
you agree with there the may the there may be things in it which, I understand which we accept yes. would have, would have been received by Jesus because they are confirmed by the Quran and the Sunnah. So, so if you so, but, but, the, but the Quran, just to clarify, the Quran doesn't say that the Christians say in the Gospel according to Luke. Yes. The Christians, or in according to the letter of the Paul. Yeah, the, 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 the Quran doesn't say this. Exactly. But what I'm, yeah. it, didn't, it didn't say yeah. that. But what I'm saying to you is yeah. this: yeah? Yeah. Well, Allah knows best, right? Allah knows best. Without a doubt. Good. Yeah. So, in the history, have you yeah. ever heard a group that said this is the injury that God gave one, uh, Jesus Christ? Have you ever heard it in the history? Do you do you know any Arabic? Do I know? No, I don't know. Okay. Wa kafa billahi shahida. That Allah is sufficient as evidence. So look, you, for example, you have sixty-six books. Okay. The vast majority of these sixty-six books are anonymous. You don't know who the authors are. Let, this. According to biblical scholarship, whether you agree they or are, not, they, no, they okay. attribute to their okay. name. The name okay. that they attribute to, to okay. that's what they say. Okay. Whether they are right or wrong, no, 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 no. To. The tradition of the church attributes names to the books, but biblical scholarship doesn't. All right, let's continue. Our okay. So, so, when you have these sixty-six books, okay, and then you have revelation from the Creator, the Quran. Whatever the Quran says is correct, according to us, whether you like it, whether you don't like it. So if the Quran says that Isa salam, was given revelation, we're not in need of the Bible to support it. Which I understand that part. Okay. Well, for example, for example, when the, when, the, when the Quran says, when the Quran says that, that Allah created the heavens and the earth in six days, and no tiredness touched him because he's the almighty the all-powerful and then the bible says that god rested on the seventh day so quran contradicts itself uh -huh. should con uh, quran contradict itself okay let me answer that question yes. it's not a yes or no okay, okay. i'm going to answer you yeah. the quran does not contradict itself exactly. okay okay if according to your understanding which is based on a particular belief and wanted to put forward forward a particular idea you think is a contradiction it's not my belief uh -huh. it's what i'm reading uh -huh. in quran you keep saying it's, my belief. it's still according to your understanding because for example the, the i mean this look you can find books We're gonna read it now. let me listen yeah. you can find books where uh non-muslims have written the quran could uh, contradicts itself here the quran contradicts itself here well, yeah. Yeah, yeah okay now and then these things Muslim scholars have answered. Yes. Okay. But well, that's not what we're talking but, about here. But, now. but, but. So, for you to continue saying it's a contradiction, it is a contradiction according I said, should, to you. Should Quran, should Quran contradict no. itself? No. You said no. No. So, what I'm saying is. Should the Bible contradict itself? No. Hold okay. on. Or, or Quran should not, should the on. Bible contradict itself? No. Okay. Or Quran not to contradict yeah. itself. Yeah. Then, if, if, if what you're saying is, yeah. Allah give um, Jesus Christ, it's a, a, a book, a physical yes. book. Yes. Then, that physical book, a physical book is what Allah is considering as in Jew. Yes. Not what Luke wrote, not what Matthew yes. wrote. That's what I'm saying. Yes. Then, but what do Christians have when Muhammad came? Is it in Jew that Jesus has, that Allah gave him? Okay. Or is it what wrote, Luke, first, Luke first wrote, thing. Matthew first wrote? Thing. Firstly. Yes. Okay, firstly. What are you what are you going to affirm that the the Arab Christians have? What do you say they had? I'm asking you, according to your knowledge, what do they have? Uh -huh. Is it the one that Jesus had from did you know, Allah gave to Isa? Uh -huh. Is that what they had with them at the time of I, I don't believe so. Exactly. But the point the point being is What do you think they have then? The point being, I'm gonna say yeah. what you're saying, I'm going to say is irrelevant. It is, it is. It's very very relevant. Irrelevant. Because, I'll tell you why. because look. Yeah. If you have the final revelation yes. for all mankind, yeah. and this final revelation has been preserved, and it's the overseer, and it, it tells the Jews and the Christians that they must accept the last messenger, they must follow the last book, and then it informs the Jews and the Christians where they went astray. Regardless, it doesn't matter it what, does, what they have got, in their hands. It does my message, it does matter. And the reason why it does matter is yeah. because your God yeah. is talking about it. So yeah. it should matter to you. And yeah. the reason why it should matter to you is because Allah addressed it. Where? 
in the Quran. Okay, show me where. Show me what you're talking about specifically. Did Allah not talk about in Jew line? What yes. You, I just showed you. Yeah, that's, yes. that's what I mean. Yes. Allah addressed in Jew. Yes. Allah said what is in our hand. Yes. So if something is in our hand at the time of Moses, at the time of, uh, what's his name? Muhammad, what was it? Is it the one that Allah gave to okay. Isa? Let's, 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 I, I think, I, that, I think there's a misreading. Okay. 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 Let me go to you. On this point, I'm going to finish. Okay. Right. Why? Because Let's read it. As, as I uh, no, uh, that's fine. As I said in the minute beginning, we have a purpose why we're here, yes. and also I believe many of the not believe I know, yeah. and I'm sure you're aware as well. Many of the points which you're raising, they're like they go around in circles. They're not. This is why they're going around in circles because you're not giving me answer. No, the it's answers. Easy. Are, These the answers answer, are very easy. The answer, is it that you the answer, know or you don't know? No, no. The, the answers are there. Yes. We're giving you an answer. You, did not give me answer. you you can say you can say you can say the I Larry. Don't accept the answer. Give the answer. Which okay. book was there? Okay. During, is it the Judith from Allah? No. Or is it the one that we have as in Gospel of Luke? Okay. John? So chapter 5, verse 44, okay, you're 45. Yeah. Indeed. Indeed, yeah. Oh, sorry, sorry. 46. My mistake. I think I said 44 before. I meant 46. Is it chapter 5, 46? Yes. Yeah. And we sent following in their footsteps, Jesus, the son of Mary, yeah. confirming that which was before them in the Torah. And we gave him the gospel. Yes. So first point. We gave him the gospel. First point. Yeah. We believe in the gospel which was given to Jesus. Yes. Not one which was written by Paul. unknown authors after him. Yeah. Like for example, you know Paul. Paul is attributed. Let, 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 don't let us talk about Paul. No, no, it's let's important to know. This. No, it's important for you to understand. I understand who Paul is. Do you, under, do, you, do you understand that this is not talking about the 27 books of the New Testament? Or you don't understand? I understand it's talking about that. That's what I'm trying to no, explain no. to you. Is this talking about the 27 books? Yes, it's talking about it. That's what I'm trying to explain to okay. you. Okay. So, according to the, the English wording, where, wherever you are, obviously you're not Muslim, you don't believe in Quran, but I'm, we are basing on what the Quran is saying yes. because you wouldn't want... you interpreting I, it. I, 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 no, no. I don't think you intend... No, I think you do intend, but I don't think it's, it's correct for you to say what the Muslims believe when our book is not saying this. Look. So you're interpreting it as well, right? And we gave him... Yeah. the gospel okay. okay so this is saying that yes. after moses yes jesus came yes my internet always doing this yes jesus okay. came after yes okay there's bad connection here so after after moses jesus came yes and it says and we gave him the gospel we gave him the injil the that's what it said that's what it says okay and you believe that thing is a book yes exactly which i am not arguing with and are you are you saying that this here yes is referring to the 27 books of the new testament yeah that's what i'm saying okay so the 27 books of the New Testament, yes. are you saying that these 27 books were given by God to Jesus? No. No, 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 no. no. Think, yeah. Larry. Well, that, what, uh, no, Look, you are, you, see, let me tell you. Uh, no, you no, no, said, no. I know what you're this, saying. This, no, this is where... This I is, want to explain it. it. No, I, no. I want to explain my... Listen, 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 yeah. listen, 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 listen. You know you have your belief. Yes. Your belief... Obviously, I believe your belief is wrong. Yes. But that's between you and Allah. And okay. That's between you and God. But when you're saying the Quran says something, and I showed you the Quran says, we gave him the gospel. Yes. Well, and, I, and, I, I, and then I'm asking you, I asked, I asked you, is that referring to the 27 books? To my understanding. And you said, yes. Yes, that's my understanding. And then I asked you, was the 27 books of the New Testament given to Jesus was and, and, you said, and you said no. Nothing was given so therefore it's not referring to this. Okay. This is not referring to it. Okay, so now, yeah. which... You understand, this I is not referring you. to it. I understand you, I understand the... So now, now I explain yeah. with Quran yeah. to me, you believe it's a book that was given to him, not 27 books. Yes. And I'm saying, if that's, the, if that's, the, if that's true, why is Allah not addressing yeah. in the Quran, why is he addressing us with the book that we have? Where? In chapter 2, can you, okay, this thing, can you please go to chapter 2? I'm trying to do something on my phone. Good God, why this thing always do this to me? Chapter 2, I think, is it 89? I think it's, whoa, you know, where it started from, whoa, to those who wrote For why Lord did not have to go to the book of the book? Sorry? For why Lord did not have to go to the book of 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 the book? You said it started, whoa. Whoa to those yeah. who write the books with their hands. Yeah. 
and the, in and order to yeah. yeah but before we go there and yeah. i want to ask you this question again yeah at the time of muhammad yes allah said yeah jews and christian they have torah and Jew with them you're gonna have to show me this okay no no, no. Okay. let me let me show you is let that me, yeah internet to help let me let me, let, let me explain something to you yeah. let me explain something to you let me just give a very brief explanation and then the, We've had a long time. I'm going to finish the conversation. Yeah, yeah. Maybe another Maybe day. I'll come back here. No problem. But let me explain something to you. Yeah. Do you know that there are biblical scholars who believe that John never wrote the gospel according to John? Don't let us talk about no, that. No, no. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. I'm, I'm, I'm going to give you. I don't care about those ones. I, they are not, they I, I, I have the same belief. I have a point to make. Okay. I have a point to make. Okay. okay. Maybe they are. Okay. Them. So there are. Whether you believe it or not is a, is a, is a separate yeah, issue. Yeah, yeah. But there are biblical scholars who believe that the gospel according to John was not written by a eyewitness, a disciple called John. Okay. Whether they're right or wrong is a separate exactly, issue. Exactly. Okay. So these scholars, they continue to call it the gospel according to John. Why? Not because they believe that John wrote it. But because they believe it's something which is is understood by the people you don't need to explain every single time yeah. okay so I'm let, to do my internet that's so that I no can problem references. i know i know if i can't get it i will come back and then okay i have to just print i'm going out. to tell you what the muslims thought of the at the time what did they, that's what i'm going to tell you what the muslims thought of the the books it's not one Muslim with, thing, it's I'm, what Allah said. Did Allah said they I'm have it? That's the question. Did Allah say in the Quran that Jews are, at the time of Muhammad, Jews, they have Torah with them? No. And no. Did Muhammad confirm that Jews has Torah with them? No. He didn't confirm that. No, and I'm going to show you why. I'm going to show you why. I need to come back. My okay. internet is messing up. I know it's bad. Okay. In Bukhari. Yes, in Bukhari. Hadith number 7363. Okay. There's one, one hadith. So Ibn Abbas, Ibn Abbas was the cousin of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Ibn Abbas was the one where the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he made, he supplicated to Allah, that Allah gives him the understanding of the Quran. Okay. Ibn Abbas, he had a student called Majahid. Majahid said, I sat with Ibn Abbas three times where he read the complete Quran on three separate times. He read the whole Quran and he stopped to every single verse and he explained it. Okay. So this is Ibn Abbas. Yeah. I'm going to tell you what Ibn Abbas said in the Hadith in Bukhari. I can't say what he said as well, but okay. just, I, can't, I don't have the reference, but I will say it. Just okay. Say it. Okay. So Ibn Abbas says, Will you listen to people that write? Why do you ask the people of the scripture about, what about write? anything while your book the Quran, which has been revealed to Allah's Messenger وسلم, is newer and the latest. You read it pure, undistorted and unchanged. Allah has told you that the people of the scripture, this is brackets, the Jews and that the Christians. No, 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 no. If it's in the bracket, that means no, no. it's not I'm, in the I'm, I'm, I'm telling you brackets. Okay. So Ibn Abbas said the people of the scripture, yes. Ahl al-Kitab, Al this is brackets. Yes. Brackets, Jews and Christians, close brackets. Yes changed their scripture and distorted it and wrote the scripture with their own hands and said it is from Allah to sell it for a little gain. Does not the knowledge which has come to you prevent you from asking them about anything? No, by Allah, we have never seen any man from them asking you regarding that which has been revealed to you. Okay. So that's why you've been let, let, let me let me finish. So the Muslims from that time until today, we still refer to what you have as the gospel we still refer to what the Jews has, the first five books of the Torah. Why? Because it's a common understood name. Have you not seen, but, yeah, have you not seen the, but, where Muhammad says, yeah. bring the Torah? Yes, yes. Oh, it, no, concerning the Rajab. Yes, I know, so I know. So if Muhammad yes. said bring the Torah, yes. Yes. that means yes. they have Torah. Yes. Right? No, no. If they read no. something inside it. No, as, as I said to you today, as I said to you, as I said to you now. Yeah. The Muslims, yeah. we refer to what the Christians have as the gospel. I'm not saying Muslim, no. I'm saying Muhammad. No, I'm talking about from the time of the Prophet Muhammad yeah, until Muhammad today. Said something okay. you are not. Listen, 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 listen. So, the Quran which the Prophet ﷺ recited, okay, which was revealed to him, it mentions in numerous verses. I can quote all of them to you, Juan. Can you can you get the can you get the hadith where Muhammad says? Yeah. What the stony? Yes. But there's two. Can you get it? In, in the, 
it's in my it's, everything is on my phone. Ah, uh -huh. I should have used the other phone to record. Let me see if it's still recording. No problem. It didn't stop recording. We're going to edit it and make you look bad. Can you give us some, some of your video? Yeah, no problem. Are you going to send it to me? For uh, real? Are you going to give me your video? It's not my video. They'll put it online. You can. Yeah, but no, they didn't I, put it online. Last time I came here, four cameras was on me. Yeah. They didn't put it online. I'm not saying they should put it online, uh, but they're never going to put it online. I don't know. I can know. my life on it. I don't they're know. They're never going to put it online. So if anyone can give me the video, I'll be so happy. Larry. Yeah. Can I finish here? Finish here, yeah, yeah. This one. No. No. The, the hadith, it mentions about bring the Torah here. But yes, that one, yeah. From the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. But, um, but there's also hadith where the Prophet Sallallahu said do not, ex do not believe what they say and do not reject what they say. No, we, what do people Rather, say is different from what no, no, has no. Then he quotes the ayahs in Quran. We believe in what has been sent down to us I, I and agree. what has been sent down I to them. I expect you to believe in Quran. Okay, okay. I don't so, expect you to follow so, the Torah. I'm so, saying so, at listen. that time there's a Torah. Yes. That's what I'm saying. So, no. The point being is that the, the no? Jews, just said no, like even today, let's read it. First. Listen, listen, listen. Even today, the Jews, when the, all the Christians, the first five books, the Pentateuch, we refer to it as the Torah. But we know this is not the Torah given to Musa <laughs> by the Quran and by reality. Okay, so can, we read, can we read that part? Uh -huh. so, so, for example, the Prophet Muhammad. Sallam, who obviously we believe the, the angel Gabriel is coming to, giving him revelation, the Quran, in Surah Baqarah. Can we please let me you? finish, let me finish. Yeah. In Surah Baqarah, in Surah Ali, Ali Imran, in Surah Al Nisa, Al Ma'ida, is mentioned in the, the Jews, they distorted their books. They move the words from their places. Sorry. They recite the books and they change it. Sorry, sorry. And they wrote the book with their own hands. So therefore, the Prophet وسلم, is aware of this. No, no, no. Yes. He's not aware of it. Uh -huh. Hold on. Let he's me not aware of it. Hold on. Let me say. Did you say he's not aware of it? He's not aware of what you said. Uh -huh. That is, is, is the way you said it. Uh -huh. oh, sorry, are you going to be here next week? Yes, so we're here every Saturday. Okay. Can we talk about what you just said next week? No problem. We'll read this one. The reason why is I need to give you evidence. I don't just want to be saying something. No, no, I, I'm aware of the hadith. I'm aware of the subject. Yeah, let's read yeah. this one, then we'll talk about that one next okay. week. Okay. Uh, let me just find. If the weather is good, I'm not sure if the weather is good. Do you go to speaker's corners? No, 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 no. Okay, I'll come back okay. if the weather is good. Let me, let me bring you the hadith yeah. next week. Let's finish the conversation now. Okay, let's finish the conversation now. We'll bring the, I think the weather I'll bring is that. good next week. I have to check the weather. I think it's not good, but we can. We're here every Saturday. Yeah, I know that you always here. Uh, so please. Yeah. Next time I call. The hadith where the Prophet says, "Tell them to bring the Torah everything. about we'll stolen, about there. stolen today." And I want you to remember yeah. why we are talking about this. So I that understand. We'll go I back understand next time. The reason why we are talking about it these days, I said yeah. to you, at the time of Muhammad, yeah. what do they have that Allah was addressing? Uh -huh. Is it the one that Allah gave Isa that you believe is the book, or is it the one that Gospel of John and everything that we have today? But you said it has to be which one? You didn't tell me which one is it. Do you think it is? Because he addressed the book. The Quran in many places yeah. it addresses the the false teachings, the lies of the Christians and the Jews in yes. their books. It addresses it. But I'm talking about yeah. the book that Allah yeah. was addressing. But no, the, was talking but about the, the Quran. Quran, the Quran no, the Quran, the Quran is very explicit. Is, listen, the Quran is very explicit when it talks about the, the Injil and when it talks about the Torah, it is talking about what was revealed and sent down upon Jesus, what was given to Jesus, what was given to Moses. But it says it's with us. Yes. If something is with you, uh -huh. we have it. Yeah. What do we have then? Uh -huh. That's what I'm saying. But according to your but, understanding, but it is not referring to 39 books, or it's not, it's not referring, it's to, not referring to five books. I just want to know what he's uh, referring to. That's what I'm saying. Do you believe that what Allah is saying yeah. is what Christians have that time? Do you believe no. that? No. So if it's not? No. So if it's not? Okay. The Quran. Yes. Whether you believe it or not. Okay. The New Testament. The yes. four books of the New Testament. Do they affirm? Gospel. gospel. The, yeah, the gospel. Do they affirm 
Uh, do they state that Jesus died on the cross? Every four. Three of them. Yeah, the four of them. No, four of them. I think it's not all four of them. Oh, four, four of them. them. Sorry. Four okay. Of them. Okay. That he died on the cross. Yeah, okay. Yeah, and the rest okay. Of the four of them, yeah. Does the Quran does the Quran negate it? Yes. Okay. So, therefore, when the Quran is talking about the Injil, do you think the Quran is talking about an Injil that says that Jesus died on the cross for the sins of mankind? You see, you're asking a good question, and this is what I'm trying to uh, tell you. Uh, uh -huh. I ask you the first question. Obviously not. Can Quran Obviously contradict not. itself? It should have contradict itself, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Okay. So in order for me to not believe what you are saying uh -huh. now, yeah. then you need to make me understand the book that Allah was addressing, that he said we have that time. I want to understand it. Where did it say that you have? Okay, it said. So you, you, you want to bring that point. Okay, yeah. so it's, that's where we we'll start next week. Uh -huh. Let's start there next week. Okay, Larry, thank you for your time. Thanks you for your time. I really appreciate it. No your problem, no week. problem. Anything you want to Huh? Who's his who?